To figure out how salt affects the boiling point of water, I decided to boil two pots of water, one with salt and one without. I placed two cups of water into each pot. After, I turned the stove on high. I then checked the temperature. Initially, both pots were about 80 degrees. Then, I waited for them to boil. The pot without the salt boiled faster than the pot with the salt. When a solute is added to a solvent, the solution's boiling point will increase. Okay. The boiling point of water is raised so the pot with the salt added takes longer to boil because its boiling point is higher than the solvent. Determining how salt affected the freezing point of water was a bit more exciting because I decided to make ice cream. To make ice cream, I used heavy cream, vanilla extract, and sugar, plastic bags, and a lot of ice. After combining all of my ingredients together, I then placed my mixture into a plastic bag. Inside a larger plastic bag, I put all of my ice in and then I added a lot of salt. Later, I put the little bag inside the big bag and I started shaking. In the end, it all worked. Ice cream was made in about five minutes with salt added to the ice. And it tasted really good. The same process was repeated, but this time salt was not added to the bag. My results were liquid. Salt lowers the freezing point of water, so the bag with salt had a temperature that dropped lower than zero degrees. The bag with the salt became colder, so the mixture froze faster. Now we know that when salt is added to water, it makes the freezing point lower and the boiling point higher. The amount of salt added increases and decreases our results as well. It is faster to boil plain water, but it is also faster to make ice cream with salt.